Hello viewers, welcome back. Now in this lesson we are going to learn what are the trading signals which we are going to get from this system. From our this system of Ichimoku Kinko Hayo. Okay. What are the interpretations? What are the most important trading signals? Okay, so let's start. Interpretation number one. Signal number one is that we are going to see here Chiku span. Okay. Whenever Chiku span line, which is also known as lagging line, is going to cross Komo cloud. Okay cloud of this system whenever chiku span is going to cross this cloud then this is going to be considered as the strongest signal okay chiku span is very important so whenever it is going to cross the cloud then it is going to be considered as the strongest signals for many people this is going to be very very important interpretation and they are going to take their entry. Now its crosses are of two types. If it is going to cross the cloud from downward side toward the upward side, then it is going to be a bullish signal. Okay. Like for example, here we have cloud. Okay. So if this line, if this Chiku span line is going to cross it from the downward side, then towards the upward side. Okay. Like here. So it means that we are going to be towards the uptrend and we are now going towards the towards a bullish trend okay so whenever chiku span line is going to cross our cloud from the downward side toward the upward then trend then our trend is going to be bullish okay and we will get a bias signal similarly if it is going to cross cloud from the upward side toward the downward okay if it is going to crossing below then it's a bearish signal like for example here we have our cloud so if it is coming from the upward side and then it is going to cross the cloud here okay towards the downward so it means that now we are going to get a bearish signal and we will get a sell call okay sell trade okay and after that market is going for a downward fall and into the bearish trend okay so signal number one interpretation number one is that whenever chiku span line going to cross the cloud then this is going to be considered as the strongest signal if it is crossing above then it's a bullish signal if it is crossing below then it's a bearish signal now we will go to mt4 and we will take a look on so my dear students here i have system of Ichimoku Kinko Hayo, okay. We can also apply it from the indicators list, then by going to the trend, okay, and then by selecting on that, okay. Now, remember one thing that in this system we can select our own as per desired colors, whatever we want, okay. Like just by clicking here, right click, then going to properties, and here we can select our as per desired color. Here I have selected for the Chiku span white color. Okay, then press OK. So here is our Chiku span line. Okay. So now our signal is that we will observe and we will see whenever it is going to cross this cloud. Okay. Whenever it is going to cross this cloud, then we will see its signal. Okay. So here we can see that coming from the downward side it has crossed this cloud from here okay on this moment it has crossed the cloud and after that we can see behavior of the market it has turned to completely bullish and market went to the upward side okay it came from the downward side then it has crossed the cloud senku span a then senku span b and then it went to the upward side okay now this is going to be considered as our bullish signal now this is our bullish entry similarly whenever it has crossed our this system from the upward side towards the downward so here it will be our bearish signal okay so we can see its crossover like it is 
crossing the market from the downward side to the upward side and from the upward side towards the downward side okay like here we can see also here we can see also okay and here we have this example of crossing the cloud okay so this is our signal number one interpretation number one going to cross the cloud from the upward side toward the downward side then it is going to be a bearish signal and whenever it is going to cross the cloud from the downward side toward the upward side then it is going to be a bullish signal okay So my dear students, now we are going to see our signal number two, interpretation number two, and this is going to be related to our price. Okay. In the first signal, we have seen that about the Chiku span, and now our this second signal is about the our price. Okay, our price charts. So whenever price is going to cross the cloud from any side, okay. then this is going to be considered as the strongest signal second strongest signal first one was about the chiku span and now this is going to be the second strongest signal now there are two types of crossover in our this system okay first one is that whenever price is going to cross the cloud from coming from the downwards to the upward side okay then it is going to be a bullish signal okay whenever price will come from the downward side and then it will cross the crowd to the upward side then it is going to be considered as a bullish signal okay and another is that whenever it will come from upward side to the downward side then it is considered to be a bearish signal then it is going to be a bearish signal okay now we will go to our mt4 chart and we will take a look on that so my dear students here i have chart of usd jpy at one time frame okay and we will see cross over of price to the cloud so my dear students here we can see price was coming from the downward side and then it has crossed the cloud okay so from here this region it whenever it has crossed the cloud okay it was our buy signal and then it market went to the upward side as we can see there okay it came from the downward side like for example here in this example okay first it was coming from downward side okay and after crossing on this level okay then market went to the upward side for a huge level okay remember one thing that this ichimoku kinko higher system is going to work at its peak on all of the jpy pairs in all of those pairs with where there is a great amount of volume okay especially for the jpy pairs then this system is going to work a lot okay so once it has crossed the cloud then our market went up for a huge uptrend okay similarly here market crossed here okay at and this level we got a huge downward fall okay when our market has crossed the cloud then it came to the downward side so in the past we can see also here was the crossover here market has crossed this cloud okay and then it came down okay similarly here it has crossed the cloud to the upward side then market went to the upper side here in this example okay here here we can see that it came from the upper side okay and then it crossed the cloud and here we got a bear signal so whenever price is going to cross the cloud then we are going to get a signal if it will come from the downward side and it will make a upward cross like here in this example then it is going to be considered as a bullish signal okay and if it will come from upward side and it will cross the crowd to the downward side then it is going to be a bearish signal okay 
Welcome back my dear students. Now we are going to take a look at signal number 3 which we are going to get from our Ichimoku Kinko Hoyo system. Okay. What is the interpretation number 3? So my dear students, as we have studied already also, okay, now we are going to see whenever price and chiku span, the lagging line, touch the cloud, okay, whenever price and chiku span, they will touch the cloud, there are chances of bouncing it off, okay. Either it will find support or resistance. Like for example in this case, we can say that market, this is our cloud, okay. Now whenever market is bullish and it is on the upward side, so whenever it is going to fall, okay, first Senku span A, this one is going to be its first support, okay and Senku span B is going to be its second support. If it penetrates inside the cloud, okay, then this line is going to be its second support, okay. So this is going to act as support for the market and what it will do, it will push the market toward the upward side from this level, okay. Like for example, like this one, okay. Market will fall down to the downward side it will find a support here on the Senku span A and then second support here on the Senku span B. So what normally people do, they are going to take a buy entry from this level and second buy entry from this level and using a proper stop loss, okay, they are going to find a good entry. And now there are chances that market is going for the upper direction, okay. Similarly. If we are in the downtrend, okay, like market is running here around this region, this is our cloud, this is the cloud of our Ichimoku Kinko higher system. So what is going to happen, market will go up, it will try to reach to the upward side, it will got first resistance here, okay, and then second resistance here. First resistance on the Senku Sipan A. Okay, and second re resistance on the Senku span B, if it is going to penetrate inside the cloud. Okay, and then normally what is going to happen, it will push the market to the downward side, okay, and market will come to the downward side and we will have a downward trend. Okay, here we can take our SL entry also. So whenever price and Chiku span line touch the cloud, there are chances of bouncing it off okay either it will find support or resistance at the clouds okay now we will go to mt4 and we will take a look at it so my dear students as we can see here that market was in a downtrend from here okay then it went up and here it got the resistance okay so we have studied that whenever chiku span line and price okay both here got the resistance and market went down for a small peak moment. Similarly, in this example, market went up and here it got resistance as we can see here. This was its first resistance. Market got penetration into the cloud, okay. Price went up and then we got a trend reversal to the downward side, okay. And we can see whenever Chiku span line and price were going to touch the cloud, they were getting a resistance, okay. Similarly, here we can see that, here we can see also that, okay, they were going to get resistance, okay. And in this example, market went a little bit up, but here it got support, okay, and market went to the upward side, like we can see that for a huge level. Here, Chiku span line and price were above the cloud and market went for upward direction. So my dear students, we can see that when our Chiku span and price are going to touch the cloud, then we are going to get a trend reversal either for the bullish trend or for the bearish trend.